With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, we have to look at the given options and select the one where the pair of structures have been correctly matched with their description. So first of all, they are saying tibia and fibula. Now, both of these terms are associated with our skeletal system. Tibia and fibula are the bones which make up our lower leg or the shank. And here they are saying that they both form a part of the knee joint. So what do we mean by knee joint? We have a bone called patella which forms the kneecap. And over here we have a hinge joint where the upper and lower leg are articulated with each other. So the bone of our upper leg that is the thigh bone, the femur is joined with the tibia bone with the help of the patella at the hinge joint of the knee but here they are naming both the bones tibia and fibula so this combination is not correct in the knee joint we are going to find the femur and tibia which are articulating with each other with the help of the kneecap or the patella but the fibula bone is not associated over here next they are saying joint between atlas and axis pivot joint now this is a correct example hinge joint, ball and socket joint, pivot joint, all of these are examples of synovial joint where two bones are articulated with each other in such a way that there is a fluid filled cavity between them. It's filled with synovial fluid and that is why these joints allow a variety of different movements. So considerable movement is permitted by these synovial joints and atlas and axis these are the names of our first two vertebrae we know that our vertebral column or our backbone is not a single bone it is made up of a number of serially arranged units and out of these the first vertebra is called the atlas the second is called axis and the special pivot joint between these vertebrae allow a lot of rotatory movement considerable movement of our head so this is a correct combination next they are saying shoulder joint is a ball and socket joint this is correct so in shoulder joint we also see that the pectoral girdle is articulating with the bone of the upper arm that is the humerus with the help of a ball and socket type synovial joint but here they are saying elbow joint so elbow joint just like the knee joint is an example of hinge joint as we had already mentioned and therefore this combination is again incorrect. For shoulder, ball and socket is correct. But elbow joint does not fall in this category. Elbow joint is a hinge joint. So therefore, the only correct answer over here is option B. The joint between atlas and axis is the pivot joint which allows rotation and many different types of movements of our head. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEAT level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.